knowing that we're always on the edge of a breakthrough is just super, super exciting. In the future, what I want to see more in engineering is more diversity, and I think we're getting there. I also look at the young kids in the audience when I give outreach talks and I say to them, it's going to take us eight years to get to Jupiter. You're going to be the people who are going to be working the data. I'm working on this now alongside with my team, but it actually won't enter service until around 2035. So it's still got its whole life ahead of it, which is where the next generation come in. What excites me most about JET is the potential that it unlocks. When we get fusion on the grid, it will solve so many problems for humanity. We will no longer need to fight for fuel. We can have a much greener planet. We have a skills shortage um, and we need more engineers. So my hope is that we can inspire kind of the next generation to kind of get on board and yeah, find a passion for engineering like I have. Engineering and science are improving. We've still got a long way to go when it comes to people with disabilities or BAME people or LGBTQ people. And the big thing with engineering is ingenuity. So we want fresh ideas, but we are, we are improving. At least they are seeing different people these days. And so more people can aspire to be an engineer. Um, at the moment, the future looks really exciting. For an example, the Tempest program, we're looking at lots of different technologies for the future. There's new developments happening. We're looking at more kind of sustainability and new technologies that can be used. There's a lot of things going on and it's really exciting to be part of the industry.